Hello everyone, it is 3 Day Wednesday with My Creative Time and I am here to show you a mini album I made um, a couple of weeks ago, well maybe like two weeks ago for, it was actually for the Spellbinders Design Team competition I didn't make it, but it's okay, there are no mistakes and I believe everything happens for a reason and really honestly, I really really like My Creative Time and I wouldn't have been able to design for her had I made it, so I'm happy um, anyway just to jump right into it because I don't want this to be like a super long video and um, as I mentioned if enough people are interested or whatever um, I will try and film w it when I make the second one like I'm kind of yelling as I'm making this video because I don't talk very loud um, I'm not like like super soft spoken like Janet Jackson or anything like that but I mean I'm not a loud person it's just not in my nature um, and I, I'm just not super comfortable with it. I just feel like, you know, I'm, I feel kind of weird. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, I might change the album a little bit, but I'll put all that in the video if, like I say, people are interested. But the basics of it are going to stay the same. Um, it was made from a cardboard box. I want to say it was a Stampin' Up! box that I had. I made it Stampin' Up! order like, oh my gosh, uh, around September-ish of last year. And, um... I just kept the box because I thought, well, maybe I'll use it for packing something or something like that. And it was just sitting in my, in my closet. I cut the flaps off. And um, I cut all four flaps off. And I want to say that this mini album is only four pages or whatever because I didn't get, like, super huge binding rings. Uh, these are the cinch binding rings, by the way, and they're gold. Um, I got mine from Hobby Lobby. Um, I'm kind of all over the place. I'm sorry. But, um... I want to say I, w I got about 10 pages after I cut them from those flaps. So if you do something like it's it's a really economical way to make a mini album, really. Um, but like I say, it's a cardboard from a box. And what I did was I just tore off like you know the front layer to expose the corrugation on the back of the uh, cover. And the um the the back piece wrap um if you will, and I tore off on both sides of the two inside pages because I wanted the corrugation to be showing. Um and then what I did next was I took my um, T dot distress ink and uh, this stamp set from Pip Tray Ink. It's called um I'm sure you can't see that. I'm sorry. But it's called Background Basics Houndstooth. And I think it was designed by um, Molly Bell. I'm not positive on that. It was either her or Dawn uh, McVeigh. But I love it because I live in Alabama and I'm kind of sort of an Alabama fan. So I love Houndstooth. Um, but I used the bigger one to stamp. Like first, you know, I used my ink and um, stamped it or whatever. Inked up my stamp, then stamped it, and I used clear embossing powder to give like the cover some texture, and it worked out pretty well. Um, you'll notice that it didn't like I, the stamp didn't go impressed like all the way in some spots, and you'll notice that on some other things throughout the um, album that was intentional. It wasn't like oh I messed up and I'm just gonna like you know keep going with it. It was intentional. Um. You'll see me use like this burlap ribbon. Um, it's from Offray. Nothing crazy or special, or whatever. And um, all the hearts that I use in the album are from the Spellbinders Classic Scallop Hearts uh, Nestabilities uh, set. Um, I I did use one more Spellbinders die, and you'll notice it, but it was from the Classic Rectangles. Let me cover that up. <laughs> Um, and I use that for something as well. The stamps that I used for the clear majority of the album is 100% Sweetness um, from My Creative Time. It was kind of like the impetus for like the entire album. Um, I really, really liked, uh, I'm not a Valentine's person, but I, this set made it really, really easy for me to come up with something um, Valentine's themed. And another stamp that I use, not like in like a whole, like a lot or whatever, but um, a couple of times in the album, is this stamp set from Glitz Design. 
there isn't a name to it. It's just it's a number uh, D two nine six one. I got it from Hobby Lobby, and I've been to Hobby Lobby like a bunch of times since I bought this, and it, it hasn't been there since um, last summer when I bought it. Okay, so um, basically, I I sketched out like this page with like you know these banner ends in a book that I have. I keep with like you know my notes and everything. And, um, I didn't go any further than that because I'm not really a good sketcher. It's just not one of my talents. But, um, I'm really good at keeping, like, a mental picture of what I want to do in my head. And so, I decided, um, as I was making this, you know, I wanted to create, like, some kind of juxtaposition between, you know, distressed and, um, mm, Elegant or classy? I don't know. That's we just have people to describe my work very elegant. It's it's not something that it just I do on purpose. It just kind of ends up coming out that way. Um, so from there, I took um, a Wilton doily. It was nothing special. It was like a, I think they're four inches diameter, and they're white when you first um, get them out of the package, of course. But um, if you notice closely, there's some red on that doily. It is the text background from that glitzes on stamp set, and um, everything is um, like inked with a combination of tea dye, not tea dye. I'm sorry. Um, sorry for the um, sound effect, but I know vintage photo and antique linen distressing. I'm sorry about that. Um, everything is inked with that in some kind of manner or form, and um, I knew I wanted to use um, the word love as like you know the title. It's just you know simple, you know not anything like you know crazy um, for the mini album. And I had these stickers from American Crafts. They're the Marquise, and they're actually chipboard. They're brown and they're stitched. And um, like Emma, I love 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 stitching. So um, I use these for the title and. The pink cardstock that you see throughout the um, album is Regal Rose from Stampin' Up. The brown and the red, um, I don't have any like color names for them, but I got it from Hobby Lobby because I have like a lot of thick cardstock, you know, the Stampin' Up and the Paper Tree Ink, but I have been having to buy like, you know, some supplemental stuff because you can't punch it with punches because it's so thick and it'll ruin your punches. So that's where this heart comes from this button right here is a vintage button from paper tray ink with some Doris, um like hemp twine through it some cheap buttons from Joanne and um, I have a thing for like you know scallop punches and I want to work that in there some kind of way and I did some stitching to kind of like go back to the uh, letters this is a Prima say it with pearls flourish that I really, really like it's not the entire flourish it's just part of it and um, I put it on the cover as well. Um, I'm going to go back and say before you do anything you have to punch the holes in your pages with whatever binding method you're going to use. Um, again I use my cinch but punch your holes first. That, that's number one. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Um, moving on. Um, this page right here is actually from the Imagine More cards cartridge from the Cricut Imagine and it, it prints out as a sheet of like, um, definitions or whatever and it just so happened that the definition for Cupid was on that page and I thought that would have been awesome to use because I was going to do something totally different right here but I thought that was cute simple and it kept it from like being too bulky um, I used some cream cardstock it's another recurring thing throughout pretty much the entire album. Every page is cream because it's just my color I guess. And um, I stamped the text background from that Glitz Design stamp set with some um, I want to say it was either crumb cake or maybe um, Jenny Bolin malted milk ink just you know a subtle thing not anything like me I didn't want to like jump out because I mean it's gonna be covered with a picture um 
but the words are stamped with one of those two colors. I don't remember. And then I took my real red ink from Stampin' Up and the lips that are in the 100% sweetness stamp set, and I stamped some lips. I went back with my antique linen and my um, vintage photo ink to, um, you know, to distress the pages. And everything, for the most part, is, I think there's one page that has the exception, is distressed with my Tim Holtz distressor. Um, here's a tag. I'm not sure if you can see it. I really hope you can. I'm sorry if you can't. Um, I didn't use, like, bright colors, but this is definitely the malty milk ink from Ginny Boland. Um, but it's that Smaller Hound Tooth stamp set from Paper Tray Ink. It's a background for some journaling because you can write over it. Stamp Be Mine from the 100% Sweetness. And this could be for a photo or some more journaling. And a little flower from I Am Roses. That's also a button from, from Paper Tray Ink as well. And this is Martha Stewart Twine. And then this stamp right here where it says Happy Valentine's Day. It was from a cheap, like, COG stamp set I got from Joanne last year. And some bling, because, you know, bling is always good. Um, there's a little bit of sewing involved with this. Um, I punched out with my apron lace punch and my scallop sentiment punch, like, you know, some borders or whatever, to go back to the front, you know. It, it all kind of, like, you know, comes together. And I used some brown thread and um, 3 8, three eight inch ribbon to create like this you know tram on the end of that this is my favorite page it has the kisses which I stamped with chocolate chip ink from Stampin' Up the kiss me is stamped in real red and I did some more inking of course uh, another tag with my heart is with you I love that one there's my punch and again I love that um, you know, either, another picture or some more journaling you know it's whatever I'm not sure how Sarah and Jessica are going to finish this out for themselves but it's there for them. This is only um, adhered in the corner so you can slip a photo in it. But if you notice, I'm hoping it picks up in the camera. The paisleys are embossed with um, embossing powder. And if you, it's, you always hear me saying I use zinc embossing powders. This one's rouge. Well, let's cut the crap. Um, I'm sorry about that, but really, uh, red. I'm in Alabama. Rouge, no ma'am. Um, but yeah. Red embossing powder. <coughs> and, um, I used, um, I think I'm going to say I used regular Versamark for that because my Versamark dazzle doesn't show up when you use, um, the more opaque colors, if you will. This stamp right here, the love, is also from a COG stamp set, one of those little 99 cents one. 99 cent ones, another um, heart bling, and that's about it on that. Um, I just wanted to keep it kind of simple. There's a houndstooth background right there as well. Here is a pullout for either you know journaling slash photo. This one's definitely for a photo. I don't, I don't think anybody could write on that and read it, but it's the same stamp set. I did the stamping like that on purpose because it's you know kind of you know again rustic. Some more sewing with my ribbon and everything and my apron lace punch and um, either a photo or drawing here. This one involves creating like a pocket with a um, envelope. So once again if you need to know that shoot me an email or like I say if more people want to know about it I'll make it on video. Um, this last page is again I did a little bit of embossing and I don't have brown embossing powder. I'm not sure if brown embossing powder actually exists. But what you do for that would be, um, like, say if I wanted to emboss this in brown, I would take my Versamark ink, ink it up in Versamark first, and then ink it up with my chocolate chip, which is what this is, stamp it, and it's, it'll stay wet long enough for you to put some clear embossing powder on it and emboss it. Um, my last tag another photo or journaling same thing here I figured you know they could cut photos out because you know kind of create keep it kind of small and I stamp hugs and kisses from the stamp set and um, 
here's a bit of advice if you're going to do any kind of sewing. And I made a mistake. Um, I don't normally I don't normally do it, but this one time I did make a mistake. I put too much adhesive when I adhered my ribbon down because this is two layers of ribbon. This is that um, really thick grill grain and um, burlap. And when I was sewing through it, the adhesive was getting like um, on my feed dogs on my sewing machine. So a little bit of adhesive and just you know kind of like try to sew where your adhesive is not if that makes any kind of sense. Um, another one of those die cuts from the classic scallop heart set and the felt I use is um, rainbow classic felt from Joanne nothing special and this is shocking pink and on this last page what I did was this doily is you know like I said they're white when you first get them um, I took my craft sheet and my vintage photo and I basically colored it using my vintage photo. I toyed with the idea of maybe, maybe sprinkling embossing powder on it to give it some more texture, but um, I like that it's kind of muted. And in the background there you see uh, another sheet of felt, and it's actually this pattern felt. It's also from Joanne. Um, it's a little bit more expensive than like your normal stuff because it's embossed, and I'm hoping you can see the texture on it. I just cut it with my pinking shears and um, it adhered down this doily and then another classic scallop heart and I took the little chair up from the stamp set, inked him up in some Marissa Mark Dazzle and um, embossed him with gold embossing powder. Nothing like super crazy. This is my first mini album. Um, I don't know how this will work you know with other kind of things but I think this this like look works good for Valentine's Day so this is my party for the day uh, I'll be back tomorrow with some Valentine's for um, kids like classes I have like cousins who are like grade school age and knowing my family's crafty and so um, I'm going to attempt to make Valentine's for them this year we'll see how that goes um, thank you for joining me have a great day